Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright Hi guys, hi guys, welcome back To another interesting video From the Black Beauty TV Daughter of the soil yeah. And the CEO of the Lazy Gang Yes, Lazy Gang members will still stand Gada Naughty shakers, guys. I'm back again on the street with that. In fact, I'm happy that I rested. Hey, sometimes we just need to rest. We need the uh uh now. Mm -hmm. If you don't need the rest, then you are not a human being. But I need it sometimes. And that is why I go for two days. I say, nine, I need to rest. Yesterday, I came back, guys. I really wanted to do video because you know what? A lot of different reaction on the YouTube street. But I said, God. Let me listen to my body. I am so tired. Let me rest. Yesterday, you can't believe it. I went to bed. I think before 6 o'clock, I was, in fact, I was already snoring in a snoring wall. <laughs> Lambroski, Lambroska. Fire burn them every time, every day. We are back again. See, you guys can never shake us. As you see me like this, they will be calling me old woman and I will be continuing. <laughs> I will continue to be, you know, that sweet 16. <laughs> age is just a number. But I'm tired. Thank God that at least, even in my 80, I'm still looking this way. If you can be 80 years old, I still look like the Black Beauty TV. Better begin to thank God for everything. Guys, I don't want to waste much time. And as we always say, who made it to the Kabon? <laughs> Iya Bohanze made it to the Gabon. If you don't like it, what can they go? <laughs> I thought I have seen it all. Guys, oh, where do we start? Do we start from Jigolo? Because I told you guys I have not been on the street. So a lot of reaction has been flying here and there. Should we start from Jigolo or should we start from Marwa? Should we start from Dimwango? <laughs> You see, guys, if you think you are something, by the time YT will deal with you, you will know that you are nothing to write home about. And for that, guys, I think let's just enter Dimwango. Dimwango, after, you know, Dimwango tried all her possible best. One thing she thought is that when she comes to, when she's in Europe, everything is going to be water, water. All the views, they are going to be water, water. She came to Germany, she went to this, uh, um cow stall we call it cool stall you know she went to where they keep the cows and all that she got a lot of views like 100 and something thousand <laughs> then one girl was thinking she would do the same thing in the Netherlands, and you know views was, would be coming she was shocked her eyes the mongo posted a video <laughs> one day ago the mongo was still like us the video was still in turn turn to three thousand till her brother marwa took that video and said is my blood sister is my blood sister dimwango please go so no it's not your blood sister it's your water sister <laughs> who don't know that dimwango is your blood sister eh how many new subscribers that do you have oh this is my blood sister go and support at the end of the day people go to support your blood sister the views in dimwango <laughs> I don't know the Mwango and African tigress who is pursuing who. You know, I told you guys that your blessing is in Africa. Go back home and collect your views. And go back to the Philippines. It's not about you must come to Europe, baby girl. You have seen Europe. I see her saying, oh, this is my eighth country in Europe. Can you say anything about all in that eighth country? You feel you have gone to eight countries. Can you tell us something? small about one of the countries you don't know anything about the hey you didn't go to any you just passed through the borders of europe now you know when they don't bring men they don't bring women no views now the mango all of a sudden is bringing video yesterday falling in love in the netherlands you fell i didn't watch it i don't want to lie you only the thumbnail <laughs> you fell in love in the netherlands still people refuse to watch you know what guys because a lot of people are really busy in the yapo hanze they don't even care i told you guys ah europe uh, content nobody want people want village content that village vibe that is what we want even me the black beauty tv that is why i'm so happy that marwa is in the village 
going back to the village or remembering Marwa before I go. You know, sometimes if I'm doing video when talks come inside like this, I just they join them. <laughs> the woman, you know, I told you guys that I will always come to remind them. <laughs> The woman that went, that was together with Marwa in Jamaica, that American woman, <laughs> that Marwa came to tell us, oh, my community, my subscribers, they are the best subscribers. And me, the Black Beauty TV, I came here, I told her, Marwa, when you leave, this is how this, your best subscribers will leave this girl. <sighs> to my surprise, I was checking, I don't even know how I come on her channel guys you won't believe it when marwa was in jamaica with this girl this girl was making views like this come and see views woto woto come and see them come and see marwa people running because the girl was making videos with marwa <laughs> where are they today that is the first master class marwa did in jamaica <laughs> first master class the master class fall woefully the views have disappeared from this Americana. I told you guys, me, the Black Beauty TV, I always come to remind them, before you start blabbing your mouth, Marwa, you have to wait and show us how is your subscriber, how are they faithful to the people. They only go to watch this girl because she was with Marwa. Now Marwa disappeared and they disappeared. They have left this girl now. And again, I have to confess, she's making beautiful videos, even more than the Marwa. But where are the people? Marwa people have disappeared. They so big they watch the Black Beauty TV video now. And they go and meet her to watch her again. Marwa subscribers, they are never faithful. That is why I tell people hey, if you fail uh, to listen to Black Beauty TV and you fall. For that scamming of master class. You are in trouble. You are on your own. <laughs> because he will send them to give you the sub. You will get the 1,000 subscribers even in one minute. <laughs> but my people, you will suffer and suffer with your channel. Nobody will say hello to you because of what? <laughs> you are not Marwa. They fell in love with Marwa, not you. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm happy with my 30. Hey, even if it is 100 people that fall in love with me, I know they fell in love with the Black Beauty TV, not because of another person. That's why I always tell people, if you are subscribing to my channel, subscribe because of me, the Black Beauty TV, not because of anybody. And that is, by the way, about this one. Where am I going now? <laughs> I'm entering the Gigolo, Gigolo boy. <laughs> Fire burn you every time, every day. Gigolo, see, you are a thief. And you are a liar. It's me, the Black Beauty TV, I said with my full chest. I was watching this Gigolo video. I said, hey, what is this Gigolo man talking? Gigolo said, oh, a subscriber told me I should be careful of who I give my car. You buy Molo Way, you buy Gongoro, you buy expired car. Let me call it expired car. And your villagers cannot even rest. It's only the Jigolo people that knows the road to police station in Yabuhanze. You guys should begin to ask yourself, since you are watching this year alone, don't count to for that year, only this year. How many times Jigolo have entered police station? Even if you did not go or somebody did not report you, you yourself, Jigolo, how many times have you gone to police station? Are you normal? Oh, you went. In fact, guys, I don't want to. You know, I don't like paragulating. Let us force watch Mr. Jigolo. We are coming back to Madam uh, Ogamarwa. We are coming back to you. Let us go and watch Jigolo Man first. Oh, actually, I learned that um, uh, there is one of the person commented on one of my videos. Like I should be very careful, especially to people who I'm, I'm lending the car because in case of an accident, sorry to say so, God forbid, um, the insurance uh, industry won't uh, maybe pay me, you know. So it's just important for me just to drive the car by myself. <laughs> Real stories from here in the village, okay? Yeah, than experience by itself, in which I want to be narrating with you like what's up, what has been really happening. I know that's the main, main subject of this video, but anyway, 
you here today and i have a lot to share with you guys you know so we reach at uh, the police station actually i have an abstract here guys in which i want to be sharing with you let me show you do i have to be very careful with the information that i have okay with the information that i, I want to put out there because i do understand not all people are good you know so you can tell from right so guys right here this is the abstract you can tell from right here the kenya police abstract from police records application that's my name davy yeah guys that's uh, my abstract from the police records so what really happened these are the big question what really happened to me so a few days ago i realized i had uh, misplaced my logbook like i've lost my logbook you know and uh, a logbook uh, it shows you are the true owner of the vehicle so i can't survive without that so i decided to go to the police station just to explain myself and uh, the good thing they had my what uh, i wanted you know so big shout out to the ocs and all the police who are available there they were very thoughtful and uh, they really served me well and uh, my experience for sure of course they ha they asked me several questions like is the car yours or it belongs to your parents and i told them my the car is mine i gave them the registration number and uh, they confirmed they have computers there so they were very professional in which i say thank you so much i really appreciate you and thank you for serving the the public in a proper way actually my friend hello baby official he was so scared <laughs> lambruski lambruska fire burn them every time every day <laughs> guys is Jigolo talking to congrats mom or chief matiko because all i know is that i've never seen Jigolo giving anybody his car apart from chief matiko and maybe sometimes he's driving with congrats more. <laughs> so now, oh, somebody all told you so gently. You see how Jigolo is a wicked man. He is angry. Let me tell you guys, I know them. <laughs> he is angry because Chief Matiko disgraced him and his age. <laughs> you are Chief Matiko's age mate. And Chief Matiko, innocently, <laughs> he said that him and him and David Jr., they are the same age. That is what you tell you guys. Marwa is more than 40. <laughs> David Jr., the 28-year boy. He will be saying, I'm 22, 21, as a young boy in my age. Young boys that are 28, they have, you know, they have houses. They have different kinds of millions of investment. You are not young, Jigolo. Let me tell you the truth. Now, Jigolo... Uh, immediately, because Chief Matiko said Jigolo borrowed him a car because the daughter became suddenly sick in the village and Chief Matiko needed to rush to the hospital eh, with the daughter and he collected this car from the Virginia. Now, it is not even up to one week, guys. The Virginia is coming. Oh, somebody said I should not borrow anybody the car. I should be careful of who I give my... Which is that one car? And when the, when Jigolo bought this Gongoro, what did Jigolo tell you guys? Jigolo told you guys that, oh, because my village people, they are going to benefit from this car. I'm doing it to help my village people. Chai! You are doing it to help your village people. Now, your village man, your neighbor, came. Eh? You know, guys, if you have been staying outside, the time I went to Nigeria, my son was sick for like three weeks like this. So imagine you are in a typical village and one rich man have a car in that uh, typical village. One village man, rich man, managed to buy one small gongoro. Mall away. And then you come to beg this man, please help me with this, your mall away. Let me take my child to the hospital. Now, the chameleon, the David Gigolo, devil Gigolo on top of Gigolos. Now he came, oh, you see... They are telling me I should be careful whom I give my car. Whom have you ever borrowed your car apart from Chief Matiko? You see your life, Jigolo. I told you me I'm here. It's me and you, Jigolo. 
Me and you, nobody can stop me from doing reaction. <laughs> if YouTube is uh, hype, you used to be telling me, oh, do this thumbnail, is good for your channel. Oh, do this video, is good for your channel. Who you be to tell me to stop reaction? Reaction must continue and lazy gang. The lazy gang will stand forever. Nobody can come and separate us and make us salad. Never, ever. So, Jigolo, see, we know you. We know you from eh, from your head till your toe. We know your stories. You always make stories, make stories, so that people will fall for it and pity you and give you money. Imagine your life. Now, immediately you give Chief Matikoka the next story. Oh, I lost the papers. Oh, people say I shouldn't give. In fact, guys, I don't even want to be. In fact, this gigolo is the most... I don't even know what to call him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to laugh, guys. I'm telling you, please pardon me. I don't even know how to. When I say that Jigolo have lying syndromes, people don't used to understand. This, in fact, this guy is the worst in their family. I'm sorry to say this thing. They lies. They are in his. In fact, they are, is already in his blood. He cannot remove it. He must be walking around with these lies. He will create stories three times in a year. Three times, guys, I'm telling you, Jigolo is in the police station. The first police station, Jigolo, when, <laughs> according to him, he said it's because of his sister's computer, Dimwango. If it is, let me say four times, another police station, because of flowers. <laughs> another police station, because they say Jigolo is misusing a, ten, a teenager. <laughs> now, Jigolo see that these stories of police station, they are really working for him on YouTube. He came again. He misplaced his blah blah. What kind of useless thing you misplaced? I don't even want to know. <laughs> for that, you're Gongoroka. He came again. Oh, guys, so you see, who cares about this, your stupid stories? I told you, don't be bringing this, your useless. If you misplaced, go to your house and check it. What are the police going to do to you to come to your house and check the book for you? They should come, to, no, the police in Kenya, they don't have anything to do. They should come and check something for you. And you are still driving to go to police station. Even people were telling him, Jigolo, where is your seat bed? You will never see Jigolo using the seat bed. Him and that, uh, hello, hello, girlfriend of his. Driving the way they want in Kenya without even putting bed. See? You better know the people that are hearing this, your jargons, cook and boost, this cook and boost story. Not me, the Black Beauty TV. I will never accept you, accept this, your lies, Jigolo. You are the liar, the man with the lying syndromes on YouTube stream. Liar upon liar. Jigolo upon Jigolo. Oh, they stole it. I misplaced You misplaced it where? See, guys, it's all stories. Another story of the distance. Anyway... <clears throat> That's, by the way, about the gigolo man. I say, you know me, gigolo is my department. <laughs> Everyone say, the Black Beauty TV is like, me, I hate it when people lie like that. I dislike it when people come. Something that you will see that is not true. They are opening their mouth. You are going to police station four times in a year. For what? You should check yourself if you are normal. Gigolo, you are sick. You are not normal. Take your money and go and check a psychologist. Let them check you well. Don't be doing like this and the thing will be getting worse. Anyway, let me go to another department. Let's leave Jigolo department alone for today. Hmm. One that shall never end. I thought I have seen it all. <laughs> Aaron Dante and Marwa Fire burn you guys there. Every time, every day. <laughs> when I say like that, they begin to say I'm wicked. Aaron, Dante, and Marwa, I thought I have seen it all. And African people, they are praising these people. What a shame. I used to shame for my continent. You know what? Somebody came from the U.S. Come and do go for me. Eh? <laughs> you do go for me to tell Indian people you want to take their boys to Africa. Yes, you even, we will watch the video from Marwa short and then see what this Dante did. Only for Aaron Dante to come and shame on you. You are a shameless man. Even you, Marwa. Shameless man, a thief. A scammer on YouTube street. You collect money, $4,000. <laughs> to carry... You, 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 okay, go and 
carry that boy or that boy that is already big to carry come to Africa because that was his dream to come to Africa. <laughs> if not a useless person on this earth who will say is giving rice to Asian people, these are the people that produce all this basmati rice that we are eating here in Europe. You say you are bringing quality rice for them. What type of rice have they not seen? Hey, wonder shall never end. You collect GoFundMe to bring children to Africa. You should have even given this money for their school fees or something. But you say you are buying rice for Indians. Guys, see, go to all the rice we eat in Europe. They are coming from Asia. The basmati here, basma wala wala, but any type of rice you want to talk, is coming from that side. Rondante said he took money to buy rice. You buy one rice like this, put like one mudu, two mudu of rice. You give a family, they will cook the rice with water and eat it fire, burn you there. A thief. See your head, you're like mole away. See people talk to you about this Rondante. I thought he's a he's a an intelligent man. This is the kind of scamming company they want to create in, in, in Kenya. It's even shame that make Erondante to even go to India to go and buy rice. You think you want to come and say, oh, you went to India to buy rice and share to families and will begin to clap hands for you. You are a thief. You are mad. Of course you are. Oh, and some useless idiots. They are busy telling them there is... It's action we need. We don't need people that talk. Are you normal? That Erondan, they buy rice for Indians to go and share. These are the people that produce India uh, rice like no, no any other country. And you say you are buying quality rice. Did they tell you they need? Which quality rice? Allow them to eat their organic rice. They don't need your quality rice to come with the rice and deceive them. With nothing apart from giving the Amarwa is busy opening his mouth like it saying, Oh, we support, so we need to support this. Support them with what you are supporting people. One, one middle of rice that they will cook is not even up to a rice that they will cook for up to one week. You say you buy rice, you buy it from your money. <laughs> Where is, is it not the go for money you use? And you say you are buying rice. Oh God, I am shame. In fact, I am my, your shame is catching me. You are shameless, two of you. See, I, I rested for two days to come for two of you and, and tell you the way it is. Thieves. Erondante, you are a thief. Marwa, you are the biggest thief on this YouTube street. Fire burn you guys there with the rice. Yeah, recorded. Record it's it. kind of dark here where I am. But Aaron is, my, is with my brother. Chetri son. I forgot how to pronounce his name. Ch how do you pronounce your name? Chetri? Chetri son. <laughs> yes. Where are you? You're in Halia? Yeah, yeah Halia. So please, Chetri son, there is this girl who helped me to, to when I was in the bus station. You remember? Ah, yeah. What's her name? Yes. Who? She's eh? not here. She's not here. Yeah, but she's in the village. No, not here. What? She will go Bangalore. Oh yeah, but still, it's okay. Aaron, ensure she gets she gets a part of uh, the support we we created. And yes. and what's the name of uh, of the lady that uh, she has a daughter who is in boxing? What's her name? She's at, uh, she's for work. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, I know, Aaron. But all I want is at least you guys ensure those two people have uh, are, are the people that are on our list to be supported by the, you know? Yeah. Well, 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 well they're not. Uh, well, well, they're not here. We're not going to be able to speak to them. But we can speak to it on camera. Oh yeah, you know my I mean? yeah, my question is yes, my question is, did you go to the village? Yeah, we're going to the village right now. Yeah, we're we're buying rice right now to give to all the village people, 150 families. Okay. Give them rice, so we're getting that now, and then we're gonna go to the village. All right, man, it's good to see this young man. Tell him, still his dream to come to Africa is still valid. We just we just have to wait. Yeah, now he's 18. No problem. All right. Okay. But he's in training. He's a chef. 
Yeah, I saw I saw his Instagram. He's he's he's, he's uh, preparing food there. And also me, I may come to India probably next year to come and see them. Ah, yes. Chat this on, man. I want you to be a good man and you work hard very soon. Uh, we want to help you in the village, you know? That's why you see Aaron is there. Yes, yes. You guys there. Guys, imagine somebody tells you that my dream is to come to Africa. Eh? You go to a country as a travel vlogger and you meet children there. You use them to make your content and deceive the whole world that you are going to bring these children to Africa. You ask people to donate so that you bring these children to Africa. <laughs> okay, people donated for you to bring. Even if the money is not enough, it's enough to bring one child. Like this one that is big now. Like this, you are still telling, oh, your dream is still valid. Valid, when will you do it for him? When will you make this dream for him to become reality? You, Marwa, they give you money. You guys, at the end, you say the money is 4000 Okay. You carry yourself to India to go and buy rice for Indians. What a shame. And Erondante shamelessly carry this thing to post on his community. I know a lot of people have seen this video, but I am ashamed for these big fools. Two of you, you and Marwa, you are big fools, idiots. I say it with my full chest. See, if people don't think, like normal people, me, I think, it's good to give the needy food, oh, but the money was not made for that. And shamelessly buying rice for Indians. What a shame. People are laughing at you guys. That's why I tell them to always, he said, somebody even told this Erondante in the in this comment section. He said they are buying good quality rice. Did they tell you that they want anything refined? <laughs> hey! I thought I have seen it all. People is that plant rice on their own. You say you want to buy the one that is refined. Did they tell you they want something that they have refined in an industry? All those rice that they refine on in those industry and sell <laughs> in Europe, even in the US, come from India. It is the reality. If you are, they eat the rice I eat almost every day. They are, eat rice coming from Indians. They are rice that they buy and refine it from the Indian Indians. And you carry your leg with your head and say you go to India to buy rice for Indians. Anyway, guys, let's look at some of the... And one stupid woman. I call her stupid because she is stupid. I'm, so, I'm sorry to say it. He said, action speaks louder than words. Some people like talking nonsense while others act. Well done, Aaron and Marwa. And good to see the young boy all grown now. Keep shining, my people. You are loved. Eh? Love them. You are also a thief. Because you see the truth and you refuse to say it. Why don't Marwa take this boy alone to Africa if it is if he wants to be pure? Or he even said he will go and pay their school fees. Why don't you go and pay their school fees? Instead, <laughs> you carry the money because you want to corner corner. You carry the money and say you buy rice for Indians. Indians that produce rice. You were to say you buy rice for in fat fire born you there. See, you I told people you can never you can deceive a lot of people on this YouTube street. But you see the black beauty TV, never. And the real lazy members that have sense, you can never deceive them. Maybe the lazy member that don't know real lazy, how lazy we are in doing our things. They're the ones you can deceive, but the real, real members of the lazy gang, you can't deceive them. You can't deceive, you just went in, in fact, guys, begin to think how reactors are powerful on this YouTube stream. <laughs> lazy gang, I hear you people. I greet you people from the depths of my heart. You people are the strongest and the most intelligent people. Yes, lazy gang, you are intelligent. Not in shakers. Imagine if the reactors have not been talking. If we are like these foolish people that call themselves that they are that they are uh, positive reactors or whatever they call it, they leak us. <laughs> See, if we if not for the lazy re uh, members, <laughs> Marwa and Erundante, they would have even not buy even one bag of rice. They, nobody would have seen them in India, but you know because we put fire on them, the Erundante thing that he has sense. 
he want to why don't you submit that money why don't you give it to the to the people that yes these are the five boys or how many boys you plan give them the one one thousand dollars let them go and do whatsoever now you change the plans and say you buy rice even one thousand dollar will buy the whole that 150 houses you are saying because dollars is not their money how do you call it zero rupees or what they call in india how many dollars you will change for that their money will buy a lot of bags of rice for just one thousand dollars for you because at the end of the day is indians that produce the rice so the rice is going to be very cheap in india you didn't see anything in the world to buy or pay for the school buy things buy books go there and pay school fees you say you are buying rice eat that rice and your tummy go up with it idiot let's go on with the comment then another person say that rice is too less for for family you should give one bag of rice each rice is not costly in india ah, ah. thieves i don't know how to call this thief rice is not costly in india and you carry cups of rice to give people with the money they give you, you carry nylons, you know, carry waterproof and Thai rice, some maybe five, five cups, 10, 10 cups of rice you are buying to give Indian family so that the reactors will stop talking. You must provide that money again. Maybe the rice you are buying is from your pocket. Now you will pay it the hard way again. Thieves like you guys, they use poor people to make themselves rich. And the Rondante will go to Kenya and be opening my wah, wah, wah. It's a charity work. I'm doing it for free from my money. I'm doing it for, for free for what? Free fire you there. You are a thief. You make me really provoked with that rice you bought to go to India. And then he said, he replied that comment and said, keep in mind, this village grows their rice. Own rice. They, are, they grow their own rice sugar cane and corn i was asked to buy the more expensive premium rice that you see and they did negotiate a good price we also will be buying toys and equipment for their preschool and daycare center i have burned you every time every day oh somebody asked you to buy a premium premium or pre whatsoever rice like Indians tell you that they want to go and eat that your fucking refined rice. They are eating healthy in their village. You leave them. Pay the school fees. They don't they, they did not tell you they are going hungry. Eh? Because somebody had told him that that rice is very cheap in India. You come to want to defend yourself, Erondante. I never knew that you can you are a thief. In fact, you are the one that put you, you are the one with this money. It's not even the Marwa. You are the one that did the go fund me. I know Marwa is the one that said like this, blah blah blah. But you have shared that money already. Now you don't know what to tell the reactors. You come with your nonsense. And this stupid woman is saying, forget about haters. You are not a hater, but you are a wicked woman. Without saying the truth. And another person, eh, the person from the, that's why I say lazy gang, they are very intelligent. This person is a lazy gang member. She said, that's great, good for those families, but quiet, quiet, trying to give Marwa credit when that's not what he collected all that money for. His plan was to bring two children to Africa, not feed the many struggling families. That is why I say, lazy gang, you guys are intelligent. God bless you. God bless you for this comment. Only to bring two children. $1,000 will buy ticket. When the tickets are not Christmas time, not December time, they will buy 500 ticket or 400 from India to go to Kenya. Is the truth. Then you, Marwa, that you have accommodation to accommodate many people. You accommodate them in your house. And the, the other... Two thousand or three thousand dollars is for food, and maybe you take them around. Only two children. Now you say you carry the money to buy rice. Are you guys not wicked? Do you listen to yourself? Are men so stupid like this? Eh? Because I don't think if it is a woman, she would do this thing. To say I want to buy rice, buy rice for who? To feed who? 
You guys are mad. Eh? Let me read the reply that this Erondante replied to this comment. Mad people everywhere. He said, Diana, please understand it. it if it wasn't for Marwa, you will not know a lot of YouTubers you respect. No matter what you think of us, he is the reason Erondante is. He is the reason to you, Erondante. If Marwa, if you leak Marwa as because Marwa brought you out, that people knows you. We don't care. I did not come to you. In fact, when I came to YouTube, I always say the truth. I don't even know this Marwa very well. I know Wodemaya. Whether you like it or not, Marwa, people know Wodemaya before you. They know Wodemaya popular more than you. So I didn't know. If you know Marwa, don't think that all people know you through Marwa Erundante. Don't think that everybody knows everybody because of Marwa. Let's read the reply of my intelligent girl. She said, not true. The YouTubers I respect are the ones I already knew. And it's actually quite the opposite. If it wasn't for them, I will not know who Marwa is. And like I said, I am happy for the families that were given, but it, do, it does not take away from what it was supposed to be. Intelligent people, when they speak, when they write, you know that, yes. But pretenders firebond them. Imagine what this Erundante did. Eh? You collect money, you go and buy rice, firebond you there. Firebond you every time, every day, you are Marwa. If you don't provide that money, we will never stop talking. We will continue to shout that you are a scammer. We will continue to sing it to the whole world till you bring that money. You are a thief, I'm telling you the truth. You are buying rice for who? For Indians. Aha! Indians that produce rice. Mama here, here in this village, yes. I come from... Uh... Uh, guys, you are actually talking to the church. Church, can you yes. say Mesema Aji? Okay. Guys, we're gonna go here to Mayugunos place. We had to talk to the church. There's a church right there, which is a Seventh day Adventist. They were playing music, so we had to request them to just give us this opportunity to shoot. Mayuguno. Yes. Tangulia. Guys. <laughs> Tangulia means I'm happy so much. being front. I just wanna call on you. Call Money on just fall <laughs> on you. Not a thing I won't do. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I just wanna call on La Briska, La Briska. Fire burn them every time, every day. <laughs> Guys, can you see how Marwa useless is? Can you see how stupid he is? Oh, because he disrespect the whole of his village. Even with the church they are going, Marwa don't have respect. Even that the father is the, the head in that church, he don't have respect. You are the king of Iyabohanze. Because you want to do video on Mayukuno's house. Marwa have the audacity to tell people in the church to stop singing for them to make YouTube video. What a shame. You cannot do that video in another time, another occasion. You cannot go there and do video. You are telling your church member. In fact, you don't know the importance of church. That is why you will do that. And I don't blame you. I blame the church members. And you know what? At the same time, I don't blame the church member. They see you like a, you are the king in that village. They say in Africa where you have chicken change. You know, that is why you cannot live in any other country. Because in other country, you are richer. In Yabohanze, they feel the richest man in Yabohanze has arrived. So you have the audacity yeah, to walk to the church and tell the church members to stop singing for you to make YouTube videos. Do I blame you? Fire burn you every time, every day there. You see your mouth. You cannot even hide it to the world. You see, guys, we have to tell the church to give us this up. Why can't you? Is the church singing in that place the whole day? Why don't you go there when the church members are not singing? No respect. Even the presence of God, you don't have respect. You will go to church to tell them to leave you to do YouTube. Like you are going to take your YouTube money and build a church for them. Or they have allowed you because they think that, okay, this one will help us build church. What a shame. Marwa, you are shameless. It's me, the black beauty TV, that I say so. Even in the house of God, you are going there to do your rubbish. To tell them to stop singing. That is, for you, the God is not important. 
It's only that YouTube that is important for you. And you will sit down on your YouTube and say, you know, I swear to God, everything for me, if not for God. And you don't have even single respect for this that. Dog. I don't know who saw it. This dog nearly died. You know? Funny thing, it, it remembers me. What's up? La Grande. I call it La Grande. La Grande, Baba. Eh? Do you remember how I saved your life? You remember? And this is the mother. Mbosi Amboka. It has a short tail. That's how you know Mbosi Amboka and we have seen. La Grande. La Grande. You, say hello. Say hello. Give me your... Here. Here. You like this. Huh? Eh? Oh, you want to bite? Hmm? Bossy Amboka, you okay, Mama? Yeah, La Grande, La Grande. Bossy Amboka, La Grande. So, guys, we're here, we're at home. My mom is uploading her video right there. My mom is a YouTuber, but she's not a serious YouTuber. But now that I'm home, I'll push. Lambruski, <laughs> Lambruska, fire burn them every time, every day. They will come for me, but you know, even uh, on their chicken, anything that has Marwa's name, <laughs> even on their snakes, oh, their chickens, oh, that whatsoever, Black Beauty TV is going to react on all of them. <laughs> to know that these people are very wicked. I'm sorry to say this thing. Look at how their dogs look like. <laughs> they are not feeding these dogs. You know, the dogs are, in fact, the dogs are suffering in their hands. I'm sorry to say this, you know, even the dogs are not being kept. That is the reality. Look at the dog, look at the tummy. The dogs are slim more than Marwa. <laughs> Guys, forgive me, I know I'm crazy sometimes. The dogs are emaciated. In fact, the dogs will soon have, yeah, should I call this one? No, it's not Koshako, but something is wrong with these dogs. You know, when Congress mom go her way, hmm? <laughs> when Congress mom go her way, Congress dads go to the farm. They leave Jigolo. Jigolo is there gallivanting. He will look for what he eat in his own tummy. But the dogs, nobody cooks for these dogs. That's the reality. The dogs are always crying of hunger. You see that thing the dog is doing, hey, with Marwa, you think the dog is, is loving Marwa. The dog is crying of hunger. <laughs> When I see Marwa with this dog, there was a day I see Jigolo carrying small food like this. He said it's his food. He wants to share it with the dogs. You see? That tells you what. When you are animals, you cannot even take care of them. Tell me how you will take. People always say, oh, somebody should come and stay and be helping. Congrats, mom. <laughs> if congrats that could suck that grace because of common finger millet. <laughs> He sent the house help away. You think they'll be giving this dog food that they are not even human beings. I know how they treat, some people treat their dogs in Africa like they are nothing. It's exactly when you see this Marwa dog, how, how, how their tummy, see the mother. It's not only old age that is catching this mother dog. It's hunger that is also catching this dog. You people should leave me alone. I'm a reactor. I say, even if I see their cow close, <coughs> I will still react on the cow. You know one thing that these people, they think they have sense. They always feed the cow with grass because they know that they must get milk from this cow. So they feed the cow so that they, because they know they will get something out of this cow. So they will feed the cow in order for them to get milk. But what will they get from the dogs? They are not going to get milk. They are not going to get anything. But they forget that these dogs are their savior. The dogs are the ones protecting them in the night. But they don't give them food. Dogs, if you are hearing the Black Beauty TV, see, anytime they don't give you food, don't, don't go and be backing strangers. Allow the strangers to come in the night and meet them. You are their guards and they need to feed you guys. If you can hear me, they wow, wow. <laughs> Lambruski, Lambruska. Fire burn them every time. Who knows? <laughs> they don't feed them. I don't want to, in fact, I don't want to say for them more. But the reality it's not me, the Black Beauty TV, that I'm saying this thing. You see it, the way the dogs looks like, you know that these dogs are not eating. Before we call it a day, <laughs> allow me to show you one beautiful video. I never knew that Kenya is this beautiful. 
uh, till I think it's one of the most beautiful video I have seen on IG today. Let's just see this video. Look how Nairobi is so beautiful. We have a lot of Kenyan YouTubers, but I've never seen any of them <laughs> showcasing Nairobi and show us that this is the New York in East Africa. I didn't know. <laughs> Till I saw, when I saw this video, I said, Nahi, there are a lot of my lazy members that maybe you might not know how Kenyan look very, very beautiful. Forget about that one that they will carry camera and be looking at themselves. All the YouTubers, I have been watching. None of them has ever shown me Nairobi. That Nairobi in Kenya is this beautiful. Let's look at Nairobi and then, guys, we'll call it a day, okay? Let's just go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on uh, Check my repertoire, nah, check my repertoire, don't check me nah Less is checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God Next to next to God, next to next to God Never not, nah, never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on uh, Check my repertoire nah. So guys, let's call it a day because the video is getting out of hand And let's always remember the people that will watch the video after the premiere and <laughs> you know watching video alone maybe it's not going to ginger them the way when they watch it with people and what i have to say <laughs> as the lazy gang <laughs> ceo thank you guys for always coming back to watch me and to my returning subscribers thank you you guys are very very important i hail you guys and i thank you for always coming back to watch this elderly woman anyway guys if you love me you are new to my channel or you have been watching me without subscribing what are you still waiting for? But subscribe only when your heart tells you to do so. If your heart tells you, I don't like this woman, I don't wanna, eh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna subscribe, then please carry your subscription, they go. But if you love me, you like me, you like what I'm doing, <laughs> you enjoy the ginger or ginger, you enjoy the woto woto, <laughs> then kindly subscribe and be part of the Lazy Girl members, be part of the Black Beauty TV and God will surely bless you. Thank you, thank you for always coming. It's me, daughter, daughter, daughter of the soil. <laughs> and the CEO of the Lazy Gang. Whether you like it or not, I carry the CEO for my head. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a wonderful weekend. We will surely see tomorrow. Guys, please, thank you. And continue to watch the Black Beauty TV. Bye. Bye. I love you guys, Kata. Why do you keep on trying to win it over? We shouldn't do, even though that I want you. Why don't we go figure it?